Okay, just wanted to give you guys a quick view of a spreadsheet that I created. It was actually based on another one I found online. It was actually made for uh, keeping track of chickens, like how many eggs you collected every day. Um, I actually used the one that's for chickens. I modified it also. Um, and then I have one for goats, and then I have one for rabbits. So I kind of do my whole homestead management with spreadsheets for each livestock I also do it for the bees and uh, it's been kind of customized for each one but let me show you what I've got going on here so the first uh, sheet down here is called a summary what it does is it shows me the number of goats that I have by year uh, the number of goats that are lactating which would assume that you're they're either kidding or they've you know you're milking them uh, total milk so far total days of production by year yearly average to date then down here for cost total fixed cost to date which goes to a second sheet total consumables per date which goes to a third sheet grand total and then I've got milk then down here we've got some alerts um, goats that are older than five years old goats are in need of a health check goats in need of worming goats in need of their CD and T so when you go into fixed costs, you basically have like the cost of your housing, cost of equipment, cost of your goat stock, any additional cost, it gives a total down here, and these can be expanded. Consumables is part of your goat cost. It's separate because consumables is things like your feed, your shots, your deworming supplies, that sort of thing. Roll call is where I track like my herd or my flock or something like that basically has the name of the goat the sex the type of breed the approximate born date if you if you uh, know the exact date that's even better date acquired if you bought it from someone the cost when they kitted whether or not they're milking approximate age and years uh, age and days last time I had a health check when there's a health check due Last time it was wormed, when it is, has a worming due, basically these, um, these due dates are uh, today's date subtract from the, you know, the last date. So, for instance, we did a health check today, today's March 5th, 2020, so it actually, that number is zero. Now, if you look at this, the last time that I wormed was 229. And today is March 5th, which is five days ago. Now, if you notice down here at the bottom of these ones that are like health check due, worm due, CDT due, what we've got, uh, health check due means, you know, we, we take the sum of this, and if any of those are more than seven days, this number here will turn to seven. Then on our summary over here, It'll say uh, goats in need of a health check will be lit up. Um, and then for worming due, now I don't worm these. I, only, I do famacha, so, but I, you know, 42 days, maybe I forgot to do a famacha, so it will remind me after 42 days. CDT due every yearly, 365 days. Of course we got uh, if you lose one due to death and then if they do die it'll show you the total days and then over here's a notes it says C sheet for Ripley so each goat also has their own sheet um, I'll show you what that looks like uh, this again is something else that I got off the internet but then I modified for my own use so basically it has the name who the sire was birth date birth weight Registration, ID, tattoos, right ear, left ear, sex, or that could also be tags too, I guess. Uh, sex, the number that was in the litter that they were born in. Uh, brief description, I usually put their collar, breed. Horn info, dam, whether it was a bottle dam, uh, date weaned, horn formation, register with. Over here we've got vaccinations. You can keep track of your vaccination, the date the type, the dosage, remarks, keep track of your wormings, the date, medication, dosage, keep track of blood test results, hooves trimmed, famacha scores, 
I have put a copy of the Famacha chart. Um, so each one of my goats has their own sheet. And here I've got med, uh, med dosages. You know, this will be something I'll continue to do as I do more things. Worms, I put a sheet that's basically got all kinds of information about the various worms, the classes, uh, the dosages, that sort of thing. Um, now, I've got this thing that I call milk count. So none of my goats have been lactating until the first one just kitted. So I got my goats in September. I just had one that kitted. And I put she gave birth on this date. Then I come down here and it says should start weaning the goat here and then technically I can start milking also. So, you know, just kind of something to do. And basically what this page is for, you've got the date, you put in the total amount of milk that you got from a goat, say it's a quart or two quarts or a gallon or whatever, and then it'll give you your month's average based on, you know, what you've done. Um, and again, all this stuff carries over back to this first summary. So as long as I have the spreadsheet open, I automatically look right here and know, hey, I've got goats that need some action done right away. Um, I can always cry about the cost and that sort of thing, but that's basically how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you're interested in it, give me a comment. Like I said, I've got one for goats, chickens, rabbits, and bees.